In the equity quadrant, the S&P 500, really it's only its second down day in April and I wouldn't even call today a down day. It started out the day lower, went most of the day lower, but then recovered in toward not even the end of the day, it was really midday. The S&P had only been down one day in April so far. Today would make the second, but then again, that rally late day, the low volume, and the amount that we were negative on the day versus yesterday's open. If you look at a chart, you'll see more than one Let's say if you're looking at red and green candles, green being higher, you'll see more than one red candle, but from the open of the, I'm sorry, the close of the prior day to the open of the next day, only one real down day in April so far. Trade optimism again is the main story. One more baby step toward a deal as the U.S., according to reports, soften their demands ever so slightly on China, inching us closer and closer to a deal. There was also talk of the EU actually releasing some officials to begin negotiations with the U.S. to take tariffs off of industrial goods going back and forth between the two countries, and the U.S. would not engage in that conversation unless they were near or finished with the negotiations with China, one way or another, for worse or for better. So it looks like, given the rhetoric, that it is for the better, and the optimism still remains the, the sort of underlying theme of the trade talks between the U.S. and China. But then we had mixed earning, which is what pushed the S&P lower. Look at sector performance. Consumer staples, really the only positive sector of any note. Everything else was pretty negative, but financials especially were negative. As Goldman Sachs and Citi came in mixed, both of them beating on BP, EPS, earnings per share, both of them missing on revenue, and the EPS beats were substantial, but the revenue miss, especially with Goldman Sachs, was substantial as well. So that's a mixed bag and it was not enough to put financials and therefore the S&P any higher today.